my videos and photos when I started were horrible, like terrible, like terrible photos when I started. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Simone, otherwise known as Ferroventuno on Instagram and TikTok. I'm passionate about creating stuff. And on this channel, we explore techniques, strategies, and tools to improve our photography, business, and productivity. Now, very often I receive messages from people saying that they would love to become professional photographer or videographer, but they don't know where to start. So I thought, why not make a video about this? And you know why? This is because I felt exactly the same. I had a dream, but I didn't know how to get there. Actually, it was not really a dream, because you know when you know things, but you don't know them, it's like weird, right? I really felt I was not capable enough. I'll never be like them, these amazing YouTubers or Instagrammers. I grew up in a very small village in the north of Italy, and I had no idea how the world worked until age 19. But probably like you, I was dreaming about being successful. Successful. When I was young, I used to like tune cars, and I used to dream about being a professional football player. But those were huge dreams, and cars, well, I couldn't get it until I was 18, and football player, well, the problem is that I wasn't good enough and my body always gave me problems. I never really liked going to school and study, but I kept this cool factor as, okay, this is my duty, and if I fail or not being good enough, I'll feel a loser. But failing not as being not good enough, but as not putting enough effort. And you probably know within yourself if you're really putting effort in something or not. Actually, you are capable of achieving whatever you want. What you need to focus on is the process and not the goal itself. When I started creating videos, I was extremely intrigued to know more about how to create and about the creative process itself. I didn't want to reach X amount of followers or work for Mercedes-Benz. These things came naturally as a consequence of loving the process itself. I'm really no different than you, and, and I really mean it. My videos and photos when I started were horrible, like terrible, like terrible photos when I started, oh my goodness. Now to demonstrate you this, I want to show my very first video ever. It was for my dad's 30th birthday. After a few years, I moved into this. And today, this is the chevril that I use to pitch clients. I had no money when I moved to Hong Kong on my own in 2017. I only had a few sports certification and a basic knowledge of videography. I didn't have a computer. Nevertheless, I exposed myself proposing to make free videos to restaurants and local activities just using my smartphone. For example, I shot this video entirely on an iPhone 7 in 2017 with a small $30 LED light.
was loving it and I'm loving the creative process behind shooting a video or taking a photo. If you want to do anything in life, you need to fall in love with the process of doing that thing rather than judging your work from how many people like it on social media. Don't be afraid of putting yourself out there and don't use your situation as an excuse. Your dreams are to be a professional photographer, videographer. Do you have a smartphone or any of your relatives have it? Do you have a restaurant, bar, gym next or close to where you live? Okay, let's make it even easier. Just go to a supermarket, buy any kind of famous product like a Coca-Cola or a wine or whatever and try to shoot videos and pictures in your house. You don't need nothing else than your smartphone. In these years of experience, I learned that the only way to improve whichever skill is to put in the work. And practice, 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 and practice. practice, practice. Atomic Habits by James Clear, and I'll leave you the link in the description, is a life-changing book and you should absolutely read it. Talk about the process of planning and practicing. Now, are you that type of person that watches hundreds of YouTube videos, TikTok tutorials, scroll endlessly on Instagram, but never put enough effort in try these things you learn out? This is called motion. And it's basically when you feel you're making progress without the risk of failure, which is the biggest obstacle between us and what we want. What happens if I fail? What other people will think about me? Instead, we shouldn't overthink, but take action. By simply practicing, we are going to actively learn so much more than what you actually think. Take your camera or phone and start shooting. This is what I did and what you should do too. And this is also the reason why I'm starting this YouTube channel. By actually creating videos teaching you how to take great photos and videos, I'll also learn more myself by experimenting different techniques, trying out gear, playing out with light and more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe as I have a lot of value-packed videos coming soon. If you have any reflection, comment or question, feel free to leave them in the box down below. Check out my Instagram and TikTok for daily content and my free courses as well. All linked down below in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.